Okay, so we're going to make a platter with an image transfer design. So I've rolled out my slab, stretched it out, smoothed it out, I'm tracing the, the form so it's the right size. I'm going to flip this over. Now, this is really important. I've noticed some of the slump molds, mold plates coming out of class um, have really sharp edges. It's really important to take the time to round, compress, and smooth. I keep saying lip, but I guess the plate. This is a little different anatomy here. We've got to smooth the edge. You don't want sharp edges on your platter or your plate. So I'm supporting the clay with one hand on the bottom, a little bit of water, and some compression inward. I'm kind of hooking my finger all the way around the, the back corner and the, the front here. Okay. Remove excess water. Now I'm going to carefully set my clay in the form so it's even. I'm going to slump it down. Smoothing, compressing. Oh, places at it. Stretched out. I'm just gonna trim those up. Now I've printed out an image. So you see this fits about in the center of the plate. Um, you could use scissors <laughs> or um, you can rip it. I'm just trying to make the, the image fill most of the page and get rid of these extra corners there so I can see what's happening. There we go. Now, what's gonna happen, I've photocopied, I didn't photocopy, I created this image um, online, right, on paper and then edited in the computer and I printed it out on through the black and white inkjet printer. So the, the ink in here is going to act as an oxide stain. We're going to transfer the image onto the clay. So um, I've got this liquid slip I've blended and mixed up here. We're going to paint solid layer of the slip where the image is going to go, maybe a little bit everywhere. Do you see any chunks? I'm going to try and get those off there. And you want to kind of smooth, smooth it out. You don't want big globs, the slip, but you need it to be wet enough that the, the ink will like stick in. All right, we're going to set this down here. Now from the middle, that order, just going to gently compress from the center outward. Okay. You see the extra slip is kind of going to be collected off the edges, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and just get rid of all that extra slip. Kind of like collaging with acrylics. Um, if you keep extra glue <laughs> underneath, it bubbles the paper. So whatever extra slip you end up with, it's going to change the texture of your piece. So you want to compress from the center in all directions. You see the slip just oozes out. Put it back in the container. Whatever texture you see with ridges of slip at this point when it dries, those are going to remain. So taking the time now to make sure you got all this extra slip out. So actually just cutting the exact circle of your image is probably even better than this messy uh, ripping job I did. Okay. 
Now, don't mess with it, besides just this <laughs> little bit of smoothing. A little smoothing, extra slip removal. And we're gonna let it dry to bone dry, and then we'll put it in the kiln. Before it's bone dry, however, you might wanna take it out of your mold and smooth the edge, put your name on it. But don't mess with the paper, don't pull the paper off. The transfer happens in the magic of the kiln. At 1800 degrees, the ink will fire into the clay body and will transfer. So we're gonna let this stay as it is. Don't mess with it too much, just enough to get any extra slip out of there. If you see a bubble, work it until the bubbles 